Okay, welcome back to my new garage. So this is my new uh, workshop where I'll be doing a lot of uh, new content. Um, I know it's been quite a while since my last video. Today I'm talking about printing surfaces and I'm showing off this magnetic, ultra cheap magnetic build platform from Banggood. The advantage of a magnetic build platform, uh, usually the top component is flexible. And what this means is you normally print on your surface and you can remove this top print surface and then being flexible makes it much easier to remove prints. So what I'm doing today, I'm doing some comparison testing with the AlphaWise U20, which has a glass bed coated with a plastic print surface, and also with the JG Aurora A5, which has that glass surface coated with that black diamond coating. Um, and I'm going to be comparing that to a brand new sheet of glass with this new magnetic build platform to see if it's any good. Um, with the JG Aurora A5 black diamond surface, uh, the theory goes that when the part cools down, they just pop off the bed. So this is generally true. Generally, it's very easy to remove the parts. However, um, getting the parts to stick in the first place, it can be very fussy with glass. It really needs to be very thoroughly cleaned or the parts uh, may not stick at all in your first layer. You may have adhesion problems. With the alpha wires and this plastic coating directly onto glass, you get good adhesion usually pretty reliably. However, it can be a lot more difficult to remove the part afterwards. And I've experienced this myself, finding it quite difficult to remove some parts, especially parts that have a very large uh, area stuck down to the bed. Whereas with a flexible surface, you can peel the surface off and then gradually work across the part to get the part free from the print surface, which I think is a big advantage. However, the price is dirt cheap, and we have to find out, is it any good? So right now I have these two printers printing off test coupons. It's a 150mm long by 10mm by 10mm uh, long column. I'm going to be printing that horizontally and also vertically. Horizontally to look for warping and vertically to look for good bed adhesion that the part doesn't come loose during printing. If it passes and we see no warping with the PLA, I'll be moving on to doing those with either PEI or with ABS to see more severe warping and see how that affects the print quality. Okay, now I'm trying to remove the parts from the print beds. This is the um, AlphaWise U20 with the plastic coated print bed. Very firmly attached. Ugh. I can't push sideways. I can't pull up. Ugh. Try to twist it. Oops. Well, that, that, that works. But no, the part is still most definitely very firmly attached to the print bed. And obviously since it's glass, there's not much I can do about that without resorting to a spatula or some more heavy duty tool. Okay, well I definitely got it off. I did have to resort to some pliers, but it did stick down very firmly and it's come up pretty cleanly in one piece. And again, with this print here in PLA, there's absolutely no warping. Completely dead, dead flat. Compared to the um, A5 though, this is the A5 with the glass bed coated with the um, diamond bed coating, supposedly. Um, this is now cold, so 19 degrees on, on the display there I think it was. Focus, there we go. So now this should be pretty loose. Yeah, yeah, like literally, just, yeah, that wasn't hard to remove. So that's a big, big advantage of the glass bed is um, removing parts when the bed is cold is dead easy. And you still get a really nice, this comes up in camera, you get a really nice um, flat bottom there. You can see that the texture is a whole way across the part. There's no, there's no rocking, the part is completely flat. And in this case here with this part, there seems to be absolutely no warping, completely straight. So that's a, that's a great result there. So that's also another good result here with the plastic coated bed. Uh, that being said, it's significantly more difficult to remove the parts um, compared to with the Fives glass bed. So first of all, I have my new glass sheet here. My new glass sheet, and I'm going to be sticking the base surface onto this glass sheet. So this is a uh, magnetic sheet on one side and 3M ad double-sided adhesive on the other side. So first of all, I'm going to wipe down the surface with isopropyl alcohol just to try to get rid of some fingerprints because the last thing we want is either of the surfaces uh, delaminating from the um, 
from the glass or from the print. So I'm going to try to keep things as clean as possible. I'm going to line this up. First edge done, and then we're gradually going to work across. Try to really try to avoid getting any bubbles in there because that'll affect the um, the flatness of the printing surface. Obviously, this is a lot easier than applying some printing surfaces. If you've ever tried to apply, say, Captain Tape, that's a real nightmare to get that um, flat and free of bubbles. This being a lot thicker is actually going on quite easy. I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good. So we have this top sheet and the, the adhesion's not that much. I don't, I don't really have a lot of confidence it's gonna stick that well. We'll see. Um, it definitely seems to have a particular alignment once it sticks, actually it sticks quite well once it gets locked in. If I can get that aligned, it should just, there we go, that actually that feels decently well adhered. Yeah. What I'm gonna do, I have some magnetic viewing film and I might do a follow up clip. Okay, so one final thing I wanted to do was to actually look at the magnetic pattern of these magnetic sheets uh, using magnetic viewing film. So I'm gonna bring the camera over and I'll show you overhead what this looks like. So here we're at the printer looking down I've got the two magnetic sheets here, the bottom one and the top one. And what I want to show you here is how the magnetic domains are aligned in these two sheets. Um, it's important to notice that these two plates need to be consistently aligned. If I get the magnetic viewing film and put that down, you'll be able to see that actually there's a, a zoom in, you'll be able to see that there's actually a polarization. You can see those, those lines, those lines are not there in real life, that's on the, that's the film the magnetic viewing film showing that. So you can see the lines that are polarized vertically. Um, those lines need to be aligned on both the bottom and the top plates. So I take the top sheet off. The bottom sheet has exactly the same polarization as well. Same, same domains aligned the same way. If I try to take the sheets and turn them so they're 90 degrees to each other, let me do that now the adhesion is nowhere near as strong. The bed, top bed sheet is free to slide around. And if you look at the um, magnetic viewing pattern now, it's actually not quite, uh, the pattern's definitely inconsistent. You can see as I move that around, the pattern's changing slightly. So yeah, the, the adhesion only works if you actually correctly align the two sheets so that those polarizations are aligned. Then the, then the adhesion is significantly stronger. I can't, it's, it's a lot more difficult now to try to um, twist this, twist that top sheet relative to the bottom sheet. They're well stuck together now. So yeah, hopefully that's interesting to somebody. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Okay, that's the sheet applied to the surface. I'm gonna let these prints print off and then we're gonna swap over the bed and do the same coupon 15, sorry, 150 millimeter long uh, columns and see how we go for bed adhesion on this brand new surface. Okay, well, today is tomorrow and the print is done using the magnetic bed. I'm gonna now try remo removing that part from the bed and see how easy it is. So first, I've got these um, bulldog clips. I'm gonna pull those off first of all. Ideally, you'd have this um, glued down, but because I have a, a glass plate, that the bulldog clips are holding down the glass plate. But now, I can separate the magnetic layers in theory. There we go. So that's now separated. And it should now just be able to peel this off. Dead easy. So that's stuck down really, really well. Um, I'd say as well as the um, PLA part printed on the glass bed with a plastic coating. But in this case, because it's flexible, it makes it much easier to peel off. Um, let's see if I can get off the rest of the, um, the skirt print. Oh yeah, that's not too hard. Can get my nails under there. There we go. Clean, done, really easy. That goes back on there. Part came off really well. Uh, next thing to try, we're gonna try vertical columns and see how they do with bed adhesion. Okay, we're back. The 
prints have finished, let's see how easy they are to remove. So I've got the A5 here, now that it's cold, I just grab it and the part comes right off. No flaws, there's no issues that seem to have occurred as the part went higher, looks like a good print. The U20 here, well I can probably leave it off as well, might come off very easily. Again, I didn't fall off during printing, there's no defects that I can notice here. The print looks pretty good. Happy with both of those. Okay, for the next test, we're gonna be doing ABS and testing for warping um, with ABS flat prints and see if they peel up um, as ABS is notorious for doing so. Let's get to those prints now. Okay, again, today is tomorrow and here is the print off the U20 with the magnetic bed. Um, there has been some slight warping. I don't know if you can tell that there. Not as bad on that side, but there is some, definitely some warping on that side. If I try to pull this off, it's fixed very, very well. So now I can do the part where I test the um, magnetic bed. All right, so let's pull these clips off. Now we can peel off the magnetic, magnetic layer, like so. Very easy. You can see there's been obviously some force going on because you can see the force is transmitted through the sheet. I wonder if that's damaged or if that's actually just... Well, that will go away later on, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let me try to get this part free with one hand now. Well, it's not coming up at all. Okay. That's been quite stubborn to get off. Let's try the end that warped more. Well, it did come off, it did warp a bit. That's with ABS, and this is pretty impressive still considering this is a completely unenclosed printer with ABS. That's not too bad a result, not great, but not too bad. Um, yeah, peeling it off wasn't too bad either. Okay, so I've shown you now the result we got with the uh, magnetic build plate using ABS. I was gonna show you a demo on the A5 as well. I don't think there's much point going by these results. It doesn't seem to be suitable for um, ABS, not only because there is some actually warping on the part, not major and definitely not that bad considering this is an open framed printer. Um, the main thing I've noticed, um, on the um, print surface, there actually is some very slight bubbling. Um, I didn't notice it at first, but I noticed flipping the um, build plate over, there's actually a, an outline, even on the bottom surface, where that part had been printed on. You can hopefully see that, I'll do a close up in a second. So, another thing I noticed after printing the ABS parts, is that actually the surface is not quite flat anymore. There's actually a small little lump here. So I turned over the sheet and I can see actually where I printed this ABS part, it seems to have actually perhaps damaged the um, lamination of this magnetic sheet and top plastic sheet. Okay, so here's one more practical print I did for a client. So this print I did on the like, magnetic bed and it's, it's still left a um, imprint on the bottom of the bed. I think it's probably going to be inevitable that you're going to get that happening. Um, but maybe it's not such a big issue. Maybe I was overblowing it. Anyway, I've got this print here now. It's got a dodgy layer there to fix that up. Probably reprint it. Let's, but let's just see if it's easy to get off this um, magnetic bed. So we can put the camera down somewhere that makes this easier to watch. Well, that was actually really easy. Really, really easy. That came off. And the bottom is actually pretty flat. I have no, I have no qualms about that bottom. That, that bottom looks, looks flat enough on me. So I'm going to say that actually, my concerns about this damaging this bed over time, maybe that's been overblown. Because really, after that earlier print, we can really hardly see where that long print was. Um, I think with the heat, um, I think the heat may have softened it sufficiently that those, those marks are temporary and not a permanent defect. Um, 
I think I'd be less concerned about this in the long run for ABS use after this, after seeing this with a real test print. Um, I'm not seeing any real defects in that bottom surface. There's nothing I can tell there. Even looking at it, I can't see anything that looks like it corresponds to where where this big ABS part had been lying previously. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that. that Maybe visually you can see a small mark, but actually in person that feels perfectly flat. No issues there at all. So to sum up my thoughts on the magnetic bed system from Banggood, I'm reasonably impressed with it. I did have some concerns with some of the uh, warping that seemed to occur on the underside of the plate. Um, that, that Those marks tended to uh, fade substantially after a new print was performed. So I think that that's not a massive concern. The bedded adhesion was definitely very good. Um, ABS adhesion was better on this than it was on the JG Aurora um, uh, glass uh, diamond diamond bed coating. And I think the bed adhesion, was, it's equivalent to a, like a build tack plastic in most regards, with a massive advantage to that by being able to peel off the top sheet. Um, that makes it much, much easier to remove complex prints. You can still get a razor blade and get an edge started. And once you do that, the whole part just peels off quite easily. Um, so I was really impressed with it. And I can see myself using this um, in the future. I'm thinking I might actually get a second one to put on the A5, um, just because it's so much easier, especially with really large parts that are often really hard to get off the bed. Being able to start at one edge and peel it off makes um, for a much easier experience. Thank you to uh, Banggood for sending me this um, interesting product for review. Um, this sheet, um, this magnetic uh, build platform kit is available um, in both 300mm square sizes as well as uh, smaller 200mm square sizes um, at even cheaper, cheaper prices. Um, when you purchase from the affiliate links I've put below, I do receive a small kickback, so thanks for your support on that. Um, yeah, but hopefully you found this at least interesting. Um, and yeah, look forward to more 3D printing content coming soon. This is my new garage. It's getting set up. Um, I've got a whole lot of new content coming soon. Reviews for the um, Alpha Wise U20 are on the way. I've got the JD Aurora um, A1 over in the corner there coming up as well. Yeah, and lots of other fun projects planned. So yeah, thank you for subscribing. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this content. Have a great day. See ya.